Welcome to the best albums from February. That's right, I'm going to give you my favourite releases that came out in this month. There's been a lot of good releases this month, and I'm just going to share you a couple of the ones that really piqued my interest. As always, pop down in the comments box below your favourites of the month, because it's... You know, it's refreshing to see what you guys think of the different albums, and also I'll probably miss out loads, there's loads of hidden gems, and that's what's good about the comment section, because I can actually find more albums to love. Um, like last time, finding stuff like Midnight Sorcery and stuff like that, it's always good fun. So yeah, February, let's get started with my first pick, and we're going straight for the jugular with some morbid saint rash swallowed by hell. That's right, Morbid Saint are back with the third release, and this is just a powerhouse. I love the vocals, ferocious as anything. They just go, again, like I said, straight for the jugular. It's this kind of creator-esque thrash, which I kind of love. They're kind of death thrash, almost. Um, and they have the classic, you know, the classic album spectrum of death. But yeah, this kind of recaptures that kind of glory. Love the cool album cover as well, like slicing off the scalps of all the suit businessmen. Yeah, this this album goes hard, fast, furious, fun all the way through. And, you know, I it's not often I put a thrash metal album on these lists, but here you go. Morbid Saint delivered. Great stuff. Next up for something a bit more mellow, we have Borknagar with Thor. Uh -huh. So this is kind of like in the progressive black metal vein, similar to say like a um, Enslaved, that kind of sound. But it's a lot more mellow. It is a lot more mellow, this album is a lot more clean singing than on previous albums, but I think the melody is just uh, that good and that uh, captivating. And it just elevates this release. It doesn't fall, you know, it doesn't fall the wayside. It rises to the top, and I think it's a great release from February. Um, I did want to react to it, but sadly, I chose to react to Alcest instead, which I, I don't regret, because that's one of my favourite songs of the year. But yeah, Borgnagon's album, love it to pieces, and yeah, it's coming here on this list. Next up, a band which I love, so many albums I love by them, Dark Space Negative 2. So this album is a journey and a half. This is so different to all the other albums. It's like a one song album, about 47 minutes or something ridiculous like that. Very ambient, as you can hear from the, the samples, you know, very creepy, space-like. It's like you're trapped in deep space with all these pulsating noises and creepy uh, sound effects. I, I love it. It is a lot more ambient than the previous works, like it's a lot less screaming involved, a lot less terrifying parts, more, yeah, I don't know, drift you um, through the stars kind of um, vibe than a lot of the other albums, which I dig. You know, it's different in the catalogue, it's quite cool, quite unique, and I thoroughly enjoyed going through it, especially watching the video. I don't know if it was Season of Mist, but one of the, um, one of the labels put it out on YouTube, and if you watch like the the stars moving around, the screen going black, and all the planets showing up. Cool visual aid with the actual music. So yeah, Dark Space Negative 2. Very fun. Next up we have something that's going to be hard to pronounce. Staria with Portal. <laughs> Yeah. 
This album is furious, this album is intense, it's black metal, of course. Great art, the art is what drawed me in. It's not very typical black metal art as well, it's more akin to like a tech death kind of art. I don't know, like Archbire or something, but the music definitely is black metal. Furious vocals, I love these kind of high, really ear-piercing screams that they're doing on this album, and it just is so... So good, the melodies in here are fantastic, the intensity throughout, amazing. One of the gems of the month uh, that I found, really loved this album, and I think you guys will as well. Next up is Pray for an Existence with Scorn. Again, more black metal, of course, you know, it's questy. What'd you expect? Again, amazing band, amazing melodies throughout. Love the production, love the twists and turns. Everything about this album is just fun. And this is one of the early ones I, I checked out and it was just, it captivated me right away, especially the art. The, the art looks like that. It's like, you know, I'm in for a good time. And it was a good time abound. So yeah, really love this release as well. And last but not least, my favourite release from February was Astral Law with Astral Law. You know, with a name like Astral Law, you know I'm going to enjoy it. It reminded me of like Spectral Law. And it's a long album. It's like 50 minutes or something. And only three songs. That's already a double tick in my books. I love my Funeral Doom. I love my Atmospheric Black and Cosmic kind of energy. And this does it, but in a raw kind of sense. Uh, I love the raw sound of this album. I love the shrieks. The production as a whole just draws me and I love this kind of... Uh, black metal production. I think it's the best. You know, it's the best kind of production. Great long songs, great uh, atmosphere throughout the whole album. Album covers amazing. So it ticks every single box, and it was one of my favourites of the whole month. There you have it. That's my favourites of February. Yes, there was some I missed off. You know, Isan's album was pretty good as well, but didn't quite make my top. Um, but it was pretty good. Also, Job for a Cowboys new album that was pretty fun uh but it didn't quite make my cut probably others are missing as well so yeah let me know down below what are the best albums of february for you and we'll see you again on another quest for metal